Hey guys, and welcome to the Working Money Channel. A tweet here from Crypto Assets Guy on Twitter. I'm sharing the XRP Rich List again so you can all see where you stand at this point in time. If you're a holder, you are a winner already. I encourage you to level up one tier before the massive uptrend begins, but that's not financial advice for me and probably not from Crypto Asset Guy either. Obviously, everybody's XRP holdings, uh, you know, their position in XRP is going to be different. But guys, here's just a sense of where you stand. And this is just a screen grab here. I have the rich list up. As of the time of, uh, you know, the screen grab, we were looking at accounts uh, equaling or greater to this many XRP. Okay, so you are in the 1% if you hold over 69,999 XRP. So essentially 70,000 XRP. If you hold more than that, guys, you are in the 1%. If you hold over 121,240 XRP, you're in the 0.5. Over 258,800 XRP, you're in the 0.2. Over 462,000 XRP, you're in the 0.1. And uh, yeah, if you want to get in the 0.01%, you need upwards of 6.2 million XRP holding that. And only 470 accounts hold that. So just to give you guys a sense of uh, you know where you stand, if you want to find that resource, uh, I will link it in the description of the video. It's basically rich-list.info here. And uh, you know they give all kinds of uh, summaries uh, like this. Okay. Account balances gives you a sum. So, uh, you know, the amount of, uh, between certain amounts of XRP and then, uh, the amount of accounts that hold that, and then the total amount of XRP that is held. So for example, only four accounts hold over 1 million or sorry, 1 billion XRP. Uh, and that accounts for 6.4 billion of the XRP that are released. Only four accounts, guys. Makes you wonder uh, who those accounts are. So this would be excluding the exchanges. There's a lot of resources here from this website that you can uh, click on. So current statistics, historic values here, uh, gives you some interesting, uh, more interesting data and trust lines over here. Uh, rich list info. If you click on that, where does that go? Uh, that goes nowhere. Okay. So current statistics, sum of balance ranges, you guys can see here in a pie chart, but also historic wall account over here to the side. So an interesting resource, Vitzvin originally uh, did something like this, but he stopped his uh, XRP rich list. And I guess somebody else picked it up. So you now can see where you are when it comes to XRP holdings. Maybe you need more, maybe not. I guess that's, uh, you know, all going to be dependent on your own personal situation. I know you guys have probably been hearing me talk about diversifying in this bull run. And so, you know, that's what I'm sharing with my patrons on my Patreon, patreon.com slash working money channel. If that's something that you guys are interested in. Nevertheless, XRP is still my largest position. And, uh, you know, I'm going to be thinking, I've already conjured up some ideas of a new strategy exiting my XRP position when the time comes. So all that I'm going to be sharing on my Patreon, guys. I uh, want to keep moving, though, because this is the big story today. I've been, uh, you know, scouring Twitter all morning and I've been finding, you know, all kinds of posts with regards to Elon Musk's new update for uh, for Twitter and how it is now officially updated to X. So got rid of the bird logo and uh, now as you guys can see up here, the brand new X logo on Twitter. Even Bitru made a comment on it. XRP, you mean. Elon Musk has even changed his bio. X.com is now, uh, you know, front and center in his bio. Uh, so he mentions this. X now points to Twitter.com. So if you guys go to X.com now. Here, let's try it out. If we go to X.com up here and we type that it goes straight to twitter look at that so the changes have been made of course jack the rippler has to remind us the new era never ended and we're going to get into some more connections elon musk peter Thiel, of course the founders of paypal xrp crow also commenting on this let's exting now so that was something else that some people in the xrp community were wondering at least uh you know questions that i was seeing on twitter what are we going to call tweeting now are we going to call it exting sexting i mean what what is it right tweeting equals uh xing or xing and tweets equal x it, it just doesn't flow off the tongue uh, like tweets did, but I'm sure we're going to come up with some kind of, uh, I don't know, some kind of a solution to this. Uh, Art of Information here also posting, you know, the X boys are reloaded. So again, back with this initial photo, Art of Information, the X boys, and some other interesting posts that we have discovered with regards to this. Tammy on Twitter also posted this, okay, a Mr. Pool post from back a few months ago, double meaning will be implementing alongside X. A double meaning, you say? Things that make you go, hmm. Well, we know there's already a double, uh, a, a, a similar contest that Elon Musk uh, presented for everybody to come forth with their X logo option. Uh, and then he would pick one. Now, if you guys remember in the XRP community way back in 2019, I want to say 
Ripple also did the same thing when they wanted to distinguish, uh, you know, the differences between Ripple and XRP. They held a contest, and uh, I know a lot of us joined that contest with our X logos. Finally, Ripple did decide to go with the X logo that they went with, and, uh, you know, here's where the similarities begin. Elon Musk did the same thing uh, the other day, a couple days ago, I don't know when it was, they finally came up with this X logo, and so what else are we seeing? What else has Mr. Pool discovered? Double meaning will be implemented alongside X? Hmm, well, it gets even better, guys. Fojack here on Twitter bringing this up, So It Begins. And I know you all remember the So It Begins riddle from Bearable Guy. Relating to XRP specifically, here we go. So It Begins, Insipid. It Begins, So It Begins. This one from the Bearable Guy riddle, of course, from a few years ago now. Well, what does this have to do with Elon Musk? If we scroll down here, we can see Elon Musk also posting some tweets with regards to the X logo, finalizing with this one here. It begins from yesterday, July the 23rd, 2023. Things that make you go, hmm. Now, I would not say hmm unless I had some more information connecting this. Remember this video, guys, that I did eight months ago now, okay? This was from October 2022. Chris Larson used to own X.com before Elon Musk. Not only that, guys, Chris Larson was the co-founder of another company called Prosper way back in the 90s, and he co-founded it with this guy named John Witchell. I'm going to play you guys a clip of this video I did eight months ago. Listen to this. Now, I saw this, guys, from Tiffany Hayden. Is it just me, or is it a weird coincidence that Chris Larson, okay, he was the co-founder of Prosper with John Witchell, previously founded a company named X.com, in 1994. Now, bear with me on this. If you guys don't remember, I did this video on Chris Larson and uh, when he was the head, when he was the CEO of a company called Elon, right before he was with Ripple. I pointed out some interesting topics in this video uh, with regards to that connection, Elon, uh, because they were also sued by the SEC. If you guys didn't catch this video, I will link it up here in the top right hand corner for you. Going back to this though, Tiff Hayden uh, actually retweeting out her own tweet from uh, just a few days ago. Who was the first person to own X.com? It was registered on April the 2nd, 1993. This is the first available screen capture on the Wayback Machine, and that was from 1996. Elon Musk didn't incorporate X.com until 1999. Things that make you go, hmm. So was Chris Larson connected to X.com, later incorporated by none other than Elon Musk, which also reminded me of this video, guys, that I did about a year ago, okay? I don't know if you guys remember this video. New evidence suggests Elon Musk and Peter Thiel of PayPal and Anderson Horowitz own 17 million XRP, guys. I'm going to play you a little clip from this video. Again, I did this video about a year ago, September 29th, 2021. Listen to this. I also wanted to bring this up, guys, uh, from Tag. Now, he discovered something that I think a lot of you should be interested in. Does Elon Musk own XRP? This top 1% account holds 17 million XRP and has Elon Musk, Peter Thiel, and Anderson Horowitz written all over it and has my attention. It was activated by Isaac Newton and has deposits from usernames Musk, Thiel, and Anderson. So we have uh, the value of this XRP wallet, 17.003 million XRP. This is definitely a whale's wallet. Could it be that these guys own XRP and are just not saying it yet? Well, the thread continues. He says, Anderson Horowitz, Amisov, Isaac Amisov, Sagan, Carl Sagan, Turing, Alan Turing, Isaac Newton, Isaac Newton, and Faraday, SpaceX-23 Faraday. If you follow the account ancestry, it leads to activation by OpenCoin slash Ripple. We know Musk, Teal, and Anderson were early investors in OpenCoin and Ripple, and it looks like it might be within the top 1% of holders of XRP. So uh, just to give you guys uh, some background here, and again, this was back from 2017, so before the height of the bull market, we have Musk here, Teal here on uh, August 26, 2017, and Anderson here. Uh, also on the 26th of August, 2017. Uh, just kind of uncovering some of these facts here. We know, uh, while well, some of you may know, some of you may not know, that OpenCoin was the first name uh, that the company was given before it was changed to Ripple. And uh, some of the early investors, as I'd mentioned earlier on in this video, Anderson Horowitz uh, and the Founders Fund, a venture firm owned by PayPal co-founder Peter Thiel. We also know that uh, Peter Thiel 
and Elon Musk are thick as thieves. This was from way back in the PayPal era. I'm guessing the late 90s here. Uh, we've got Peter Thiel, Elon Musk with their uh, X.com cards. I don't know what that is, but clearly a PayPal product. So... Um, yeah, anyway, this is just from Lord Vendetta from back in July. Peter Thiel is a big investor in Ripple, and you really think that Elon Musk doesn't know about XRP? Well, regardless of if they are investors in Ripple or not, the question is, do they hold XRP? Are they controllers of this account with over 17 million XRP? You can see here the Musk deposit 8 million, just over 8 million, uh, 3 million over here, and Anderson with over 6 million XRP. Um, and so here is final account numbers activated with 30 XRP. Uh, and so their flare claim is 17.13 million FLR. Their songbird claim 2.57 million SGB. Interesting to note, I wanted to thank Tag here at Tag XRP here on Twitter. Well, now I know what X.com is. And a very interesting new observation here from Tiffany Hayden. Weird coincidence that Chris Larson was the first owner along with co-founder John Witchell of X.com back in 1994, before Elon Musk decided to incorporate it in 1999. It all kind of lends more credibility to this theory that Elon Musk, Peter Thiel, and Anderson Horowitz do own XRP. Things that make you go, hmm. So yeah, that was a video within a video there because I uh, was referring back to that video I did in September of 2021. All these connections, though, now coming to light. I mean, considering Elon has changed the uh, platform, the double meaning of X, we have the So It Begins connection with Elon even mentioning It Begins, X.com now pointing to Twitter. They've changed the logo. We've also got Nick here, Crypto Crusader, building on top of this tweet from Utility Theory. Now, Utility Theory here, uh, or Citizen of the Future, he, uh, he put out this huge tweet thread with Twitter turning into X.com going mainstream. Check out this research article I wrote back in December of 2022 before any mainstream news source even covered x.com. Now, uh, I'm not going to go over it. It's fairly lengthy, but I will link it in the description for you. Just wanted to kind of touch on Nick's uh, comments here, okay? Building on top of the tweet from Utility Theory, remember my tweet recently regarding mass adoption of blockchain and DLT technology, and he refers to his tweet here. They specifically mention social media-based payments being one of the big steps for mass adoption to happen. Social media-based payments, guys. X.com, the social media platform, which was once Twitter. This could be the start of mass adoption of this technology without users or individuals even realizing they are using it. The city PDF file breaks it all down. This was the backend infrastructure technology, meaning you will use it without knowing it. This truly is wild and the connections to Ripple and XRP are pretty crazy. Huge shout out to Utility Theory for this extensive and extremely valuable research. So again, guys, this is all going to be linked in the description of the video for you if you want to go over that further. And then we have this, okay, from Watcher Guru on Twitter. Elon Musk says, if done right, X could become, and yes, he says it, X could become half of the global financial system. Essentially, if, if, if done right, the... X would be would, would serve people's financial needs to such a degree that over time it would become I don't know maybe half of the global financial system. Wow! Or some big number. Okay. Um, I'm not sure what the number is, but pretty big. Um, so it, it would be by far the biggest sort of financial institution. If, but but like I said, not, not not really in the way that people are used to thinking about uh, banks. Mm -hmm. Just um, just the most efficient database for the thing that is money. Um, like I said, like, you know, least amount of fraud, uh, everything's real time. Um, and if it involves money in any way, it can be dealt with seamlessly on one, one lo location. So if it deals with money seamlessly, it will be done, it will be dealt with in one location, uh, as, he's, as he's saying there. But it's funny that he would even say that this could become half of the global financial system. A lofty goal when you're just kind of starting off the ground if you seemingly don't have any plans. Well, I mean, you know, this is why I got to refer to these videos that I've done starting back in 2021 and into 2022. The Musk Teal connection with XRP, those wallets from 2017, not to mention the X.com uh, registering, right? X.com was registered and the former owner was Chris Larson, guys. I'm not making this stuff up. This is all verifiable, which lends itself even more to the fact that, I mean, Elon Musk, you know, now saying X could become half of the global financial system. Will it utilize XRP? It's looking as though many of the connections are suggesting it could. Oscar Arnerson here on Twitter posting this. Okay, Elon Musk 
has to be looking at XRP. How could he not? It's the one decentralized solution for flawless cross-border transactions that costs virtually nothing at amazing speeds for every fiat and every crypto. And it even has the correct name. And if that's not enough, it's one of the few things on the market with legal clarity annihilating the SEC. So that's the other thing, guys. The legal clarity would certainly give it a leg up. Uh, Dobo here saying, you know, hmm, don't know. I own XRP, but from my own observations, XLM is more likely. Uh, David Schwartz hates Elon Musk. He took shots at him on Twitter. Jed McCaleb seems to have a good relationship with Elon and a partnership with him at SpaceX. Uh, and Oscar says, you know, he's critiqued some of his decisions, yes, uh, like most people on the left have, but he doesn't hate him. And number two, I saw someone say something similar. What's the source on that? And I think it was the uh, the Jed McCaleb uh, SpaceX connection. So, I mean, there is perhaps some controversy here, although I do think these connections speak for themselves. I guess only time will tell. Now it's getting me wondering, are Elon Musk, Peter Thiel, and Anderson Horowitz three of these top four XRP accounts? They would have had to accumulate a heck of a lot more since 2017, but I guess anything is possible. That's just my opinion, but I want to hear what you guys think. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Like the video if you like the content I'm providing. I always love hearing your comments. See you in the next one, guys.